Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with a Stash Dive Tuesday and a Kill a Kit for November mix-up. And I have this one picture of me and my best friend and my daughter and then back there playing Where's Waldo is my son. And we are getting ready to get on the Metro to Washington, D.C. And so I have a couple of our Metro cards that I want to put on here as well and all of the stash so this background paper is going to be is from vicki Booten's fernwood and then this base page is from maggie holmes round trip the frame is from vicki Booten, and then these are simple stories but i don't use them um and then i have all these different bits and pieces from fernwood simple stories i've got um some different bits and pieces from maggie holmes and then these top two are from a sticko, puffy sticker uh, road signs. And then, this is the other cool thing I brought in for my simple stories, is I'm using a um, embossing um, plate or embossing folder. And it is so cool. I'm going to show you what it looks like even more drastically on the solid. Look how textured and fun that is. I can't wait to use these on layouts. This is the Sizzix. Uh, 3d textured impression it is so much fun so um and then i also am bringing in a flare from the flare hut so lots of stash different things that are sitting on my desk that i want to get used up so i've got my papers my embellishments my picture and my ephemera and so let's see how this goes so i have already trimmed down the map paper from the maggie holmes collection and i am going to um, I just cut, it's down to, I think I've made it like 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And that may not be exact because I really just trimmed the outside border from the top and bottom and then just a little bit off either side from the um, left and right. I didn't want to lose too much of the map part because that was the whole point of using it for either the metro or while we were wandering around in D.C. Because this kind of looks like the road maps trying to get around in D.C. So I have matted this on brown because the paper, like the lines on this paper, are in like a dark brown color. So I went ahead and matted my picture on brown. I do want to bring in this textured paper somehow. And I'm not sure how because it's not big enough to mat my picture. And I don't want to like hide it or disguise it too much. So I'm just kind of moving it around to try and figure out what I want to do. And I did decide that I would use one of these pieces to put in the frame, my picture frame. And it fit perfectly, so it was like it was meant to be. I just trim off the excess. And um, I just love this texture. It is really cool. See, I think that looks really neat, but then that gap looked weird. So I decided I'm going to tuck it like this. You can see the L at the, the on the top and then what's in the frame. And I'm just covering up on that picture some guy in the background. Not my son. <laughs> Not the Where's Waldo guy. So I get that out and then I am... Um, determining exactly what I want to do with these cards. I want them on there. If the, I had a frame that was big enough to have held one, I would have done that, but I didn't. So I figured I would kind of either layer them up or tuck them in or something. So I want them to be visible, um, but they don't necessarily have to be uh, together and they don't have to be 100% visible. So I have the smart trip and the metro symbol um, on the bottom and then the top part where it has all the cool stuff from DC at the top and I do like this it feels reasonably symmetrical it gives it kind of a zigzag um, diagonal line so I turned it to the side so I can get started laying things down and I use um, my tape runner to get them down most everything down but that textured paper I add some Nouveau Deluxe to because I definitely did not want um, all that textured space um, to not stick down with the tape and then I've set I picked this um, flare from the flare hut out because it's got lines that are similar to the road lines it has some red in it like in my grid paper that is textured I'm just trying to find the right place I thought if it would tuck up underneath that mat or that frame that would work but it would have made it come up way too far and it would have looked weird so I decided I'm going to put it over here it almost looks like it goes um 
like those lines just kind of disappear into the page which is kind of what I love about flare you can make it stand out bold and brass and everything or you could have it kind of um, you know tuck in and um, fit with the page so I took this Maggie Holmes um, round trip little airplane ticket and yes and it says airplane I'm on the metro but it's a mode of transportation I'm fine with that I inked it with some green probably like I can't remember the last green I used it was whatever was on my <laughs> little topper um, and I thought that would go because there's green in the background and there's some green in the card and things like that and then I used some Nouveau Deluxe and some fun foam to put my flare down and I did write on there where it says um, on the little airplane ticket where I was going I wrote Washington DC and I took that little uh, truck in and that truck had pumpkins on it I cut the pumpkins off and then decided just to tuck the whole thing and I thought that would be good too once again another mode of transportation I get another one of those cars used that I wasn't really sure how I was going to use now this heart I'm tucking in right here is a green and it matches the little stripped um, sticker that I had that says something about autumn or fall that I have tucked in underneath. Now when I do the close-ups you'll see it better. It's just a sliver because the wording on that sticker sheet's not working for me right now with these pictures because it's not about the outdoors and the fall and all that. It's about this trip that we're taking and so um in that case if the coloring works out I just tuck it to where all you see is that little strip of that pattern and I'm perfectly fine with that I don't feel like I'm wasting or anything I'm actually about to cover this one up too um, I think it says something about loving fall or harvest or love I don't know I just cover it up with the subway um, in the arrow and um, that way I'm getting the wording that I want and not having stuff on here that doesn't necessarily fit what I want um, I mean I do want to get things used up tucking up a little bumpy over there if you haven't watched any of these videos my best friend's name is Brie and we call her B or at least my kids do I call her B sometimes and so she has a thing for bees and I usually will tuck those in when I can there was a bunch of them with this simple stories collection okay so I pulled this out because a lot of those colors are in this layout but it doesn't look right it doesn't fit there it doesn't feel right those colors in the middle like the blues and the hunter green and that um aqua that just don't look right so I set it aside and I'm going to use it on another layout I I'm not putting it there just because I felt like it needed something so I cover my tag without forgetting this time go me and these are just some um, enamel dots that I got from I think it was a PG cheap that I ordered them from because it was like a big stash and there's no name in the packaging that's why I'm almost positive to where I got them from um, so I just add them in the brown to bring that brown from that background paper out um, and just put a few of them in different places and then I grab my zig um, memory marker I think it's a zig yeah and I just trace around the outside because I after I got to looking at this I thought I should have inked the outside of this paper so this way I am getting that ink and that differential and making that um, stand out a little bit without having to worry about pulling it up and inking it and then I pull out one of my shimmer sprays in an, ooh, I don't know what color it is. And it's sitting way out of my reach. <laughs> and I can't move right now. So, um, but I will, if I remember, because my brain is crazy. If I remember, I will put what I used down below. But it is a Diane Reefley shimmer spray. And I think it has something to do with chocolate. Mm, that makes me hungry but I'm not gonna so I splattered that on there I love the way that that turned out um, and there is my awesome flare from the flare hut and all those cute little signs I really do love how this turned out it was a lot of fun is it the greatest layout I've ever created Meh. is it fun though and am I gonna enjoy seeing it in the book 
Yep. So that is all that matters. And so, plus I got some more of my off fun stash used up. And so I'm going to move on to the next layout and I can't wait. So I hope you all come back again tomorrow for Wednesday's, um, uh, November killer kit. And I hope you all will go check out everybody else below who is doing stash dive Tuesday. Have a great day and happy scrapping.